Alright, thank you for visiting. My name is Ryan. Uh, this is a second video in a series dealing with Joomla, creating a website with a program called Joomla. And in this video I'm going to show you how you can change your template on your Joomla account after you've got it installed. Now, if you haven't watched the first video, you'll want to do that first. That video is going to show you how you can install Joomla on your hosting plan and you can install it correctly the first time so that you don't have any problems down the road by installing it incorrectly. So if you haven't watched the video yet, I'd like you to, uh, go up to your address bar and go to www. and then the letter U and then save domains.com. And when you get over there, if you look over on the right side margin, you'll see video tutorials. And if you scroll down a little bit below the WordPress tutorials, you'll see Joomla and we will be adding more them more later um, but that's where you can find them so I'm gonna go under the assumption that you've already set up your initial Joomla installation and I'm gonna show you how you can change your template now so I'm just gonna go to the install that we did yesterday and this is the default page that loads up after Joomla is successfully installed now there is over on the left side margin a section here that you can log into your control panel. But I just want to point out a few things about the theme that's currently on here for Joomla. All these sections are called positions and each position has a name to it. So as you're working on your site and developing it, you'll need to know what the name is of each position that you want to modify. And how you can do that if you want to see the names, you can go up to your address bar and put your cursor at the end of the forward slash there at the end and just type in a question mark and then the letter T as in Tom, the letter P as in Paul and then the equal sign and then the number one and click enter and you will see the positions appear at the top of each section, the name of them position 12, position 7, position 6, position 8, position 3 so if you leave one of these sections empty then the sections around it will widen themselves out to encompass that area so it won't it'll keep the flow and the organization of your theme and the layout in a professional manner so that's just something you'll probably want to write down and make a note of um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to log into my control panel and show you how to change the theme so I'll just go back get rid of that TP equals one. I'll go over here to my site admin login and a new page will load up. It's going to ask me to log into my back end area. And here we go. Now this is the control panel. Over here on the left side there's a bunch of options for you when you have other areas in here but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to template manager and this is where all your templates are stored now this is where the these are the default ones that came with the installation but if you purchased other ones or you found free ones out there on the internet once you've got them set up uh, installed on the server then you can come in here and you can change the template at any given time but I'm just going to show you how you can quickly change it so again here's our default template I'm going to change the look of that right now and I'm going to just choose one of these. I'll choose the default fruit shop. I'll go over here and I'll click the star make default. Page will refresh. You'll see over here on the right side margin the star has moved over here to this location. And I'm going to go and refresh my home page. Now watch what happens. Now it's changed looks nicer huh so I have the ability of changing the header the banners the color schemes I have the ability of changing everything in here from within my administration section so let me change it one more time let me just click one of these well let's see I'll change it to this one click make default right there it's done now let me go refresh the page and there it is. I've got a totally different look. You'll see now that the uh, navigation bars have moved from the left side margin over to the right side margin. 
got my site administrator login over here now and that's how you change templates for Joomla so if you like the website or excuse me if you like the uh, tutorial and you think that it would be of value to other people if, wherever you're watching it there might be a thumbs up sign or a Facebook like button uh, please give us a, a like or a thumbs up that'll help other people learn about us um, so thank you and we'll be adding other videos over at yousavedomains.com thank you for watching